with Matthew Shepard in mind, I don't know if he liked classical music, but there's something interesting if you look at the history of the piece itself. Um, Mozart never got a chance to finish it. I think it was like 1791, he died before he finished the piece. Um, his student, Sussmeyer, is the one that's really credited with completing the whole work and putting his name on it. With Matthew Shepard, he didn't get to finish anything either. Um, I guess now it's up to us to finish it so we can put his name on it. John has a really cool way of, of balancing orchestral and choral conducting and connecting with each group the way they need to be connected with, uh, which is not something that a lot of conductors seem to naturally have. Um, singers think one way, instrumentalists think another way, and yeah, we all work together, but there's still differences up here, and he seems to be able to tap into how to connect best to get the best sound out of both groups. People talk about the transcendental nature of Mozart's music and I felt that because of the group of people that I was with and because of the purpose why we were doing this work I felt like I was part of something larger and I thought that was really beautiful. But this this whole uh, concept of sending off somebody who has departed us um, I think is very poignant and specifically in the in the case of Matthew Shepard I would not be uh, the person who I am at all. I mean, I'm cisgendered, um, male, uh, straight, but to send off someone who had such impact on the LGBT community um, with a piece that is sacred, I think is super poignant and super beautiful. I am originally a native of South Africa. We have people in this choir and the orchestra who come from all parts of the world and who come together to communicate this message, which is love and acceptance. Way before I even knew that I wanted to pursue music as a career, I sang this type of music just for the love of it. So singing it again, it just made me realize that that love and appreciation is still there, and to tell the truth, it has grown since then. John just, uh, I feel like he takes each movement and, and turn it into something that makes a statement about the message that we're trying to put out there in this world. It's always, it's fun and frustrating to do these kinds of things because it, it just, somebody breathes wrong and you're like, oh, we have to do an entire take again. Um, but uh, the fact that it's great music and, and we're all friends and it, we're around great people always makes such a difference because things can get, a, can get a little bit hairy when, when, when you're sitting there going, oh, I totally just missed that note, my bad. And then the conductor looks at you and you're like, I'm going to kill you. It's like, oh, please don't. Um, so <laughs> uh, John is awesome. Um, I really like how he approaches music in general. He, he's very um, he's very warm about it. And sometimes um, I, I've sung in a lot of groups and sometimes the music making can be a little bit cold and strict and whatnot. And John is very much no, no, we're going to do this together and we're going to make this something our own that we're proud of. And between that and this now, getting to do, uh, uh, seeing something new come out uh, of this tragedy and then uh, applying uh, something more traditional, something more classical to the, the tragedy. Um, and, and to hear how that connects and influences um, what we're doing, uh, I, I think anybody that's even just remotely interested in the art form uh, would be remiss to not pick this up and give it a listen.